everyone, this is Coach Christy from CrossFit Mokina bringing you our workout for Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. It is called Race Against Time. Members, don't forget to check out, we do have a new weekly challenge that you need to register for in Tribe. It is to accumulate two miles of running this week. You can do it all at once, or you can break it up into small segments. However, Running during the regular workouts or MRF prep does not count. This is an additional two miles this week. Also, don't forget that we are doing a bingo challenge, so don't so get on that and complete a bingo square. So let's take a look at what we have going on today. We have three components to our workout. We have a warm up, we have a strength, and of course, the regular workout. The warm up has two parts today. We're going to do two rounds of this part in purple. We're going to do eight push ups, 10 arm circles, five devil press, and then 10 toy soldiers, going through that list twice. Then we'll set a six minute clock and we'll go through this list as many times as possible in six minutes. We have 15 kettlebell or dumbbell swings, seven goblet squats, a baby maker stretch for about 30 seconds, 10 box jumps or step ups, and then 10 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches. Our strength today is a total of 10 minutes. I'm gonna change that to 12. We're gonna change that to a total of 12 minutes. Um, on minute one, we're gonna do six to eight devil's press. On minute two, we're gonna do a 30 second hollow rock hold. And on minute three, we're gonna do seven kettlebell and dumbbell push press, look here in parentheses, on each arm. So seven on the left arm and seven on the right arm. For those of you with a barbell, feel free to use a barbell for this. It will be seven total at about 55% of our one rep max. If we make this 12 minutes total, we're gonna go through this list four times. Our workout today, why is it called race against time? You have three mini workouts and you only have seven minutes to get through each workout. The faster you get through each part, the more of a break you get before the next round. If you do not complete the mini workout in seven minutes, that's okay. You stop where you are and immediately go into the next one. So the first mini workout in green is three rounds. We're gonna do 30 double unders, which is a jump rope move, or 60 singles, 20 kettlebell swings, and 15 goblet squats. You need to get through this list three times. Let's say it takes you six minutes and 15 seconds, then you'll have a 45 second break because at minute seven, you're going into the next workout. Seven minute cap as well, 21, 15, nine sit-ups, push-ups, and air squats. 21 sit-ups, 21 push-ups, 21 air squats. 15 sit-ups, 15 push-ups, 15 air squats, and then nine, nine, nine. Same as before, if you finish in under seven minutes, you get a break before the next workout. If not, stop wherever you are and move on to the next one at minute 14. Again, we have a seven minute cap, which means this expires at minute 21. You're just gonna go through this list once. You need to do a total of 30 box jumps or step ups, a total of 30 triceps, dips and a total of 30 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches in only seven minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start demoing our movements today. As we mentioned, our warm-up has two components. The first part, we're going to go through the list twice. The first thing we're going to have is eight push-ups. We're going to come down to the floor, hands underneath our shoulders, elbows track back along the ribs till our chest touches the floor, and then full extension at the top. We can come down and roll up. We can even roll down and roll up. So we're gonna start with eight push-ups, full range of motion, chest to the floor, arms fully extended at the top. For those arm circles, let's go forward and backwards to get our joints nice and mobile. Then we have double press. You can do this with one dumbbell or kettlebell, or if you want to be a little bit more challenging, you can do it with two dumbbells or kettlebells. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the floor and do a burpee. If you have two dumbbells, put your hands on top of the dumbbells. If not, just come down to the floor and do a regular burpee. So I'm gonna come down, a burpee means chest and thighs to the floor. Then I'm gonna come up with my back flat. If I have two dumbbells, I'm gonna get those dumbbells up overhead. 
If you only have one, that's fine. Same thing, swing and get that dumbbell up overhead. And for the next one, just make sure you switch arms. So we're gonna do double press. The toy soldier is a good stretch for the hamstrings. We wanna keep our torso tall and we're gonna kick our leg forward, trying to get our heel higher than our hips. And if you can, try to keep the leg on the floor, try to keep your heel down on the floor. So we'll go through that list twice. Then we're gonna go into a six minute AMRAP. As many rounds as we can in six minutes, we're gonna start with kettlebell or dumbbell swings. Tiny little dip. I'm gonna push on that kettlebell or dumbbell with my hips, getting enough momentum to get it straight up overhead. Then I'm gonna bring that straight in front of me for goblet squats. Feet are gonna go underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna push back to get my weight in my heels, fighting to get down below parallel while holding my kettlebell or dumbbell in front of me, and then full hip extension at the top. So full squat and then stand. We're then gonna widen our stance for the baby maker stretch. So widen my stance. I'm gonna put my hands on top of my shoes and push out with my elbows on my knees. Hold that there for approximately 30 seconds to get a good stretch on the inner thigh and the groin. From there, we have two moves left, box jumps or step ups. I'm not going to demo box jumps because I don't have a box, but an imaginary box jump, tiny little dip, I'm gonna swing my arms for momentum. Once I get on top of the box, full hip extension at the top. If you do not have an object that you can jump on, we will do step ups. Same thing with that full hip extension at the top. We wanna to stand up straight and we also want to alternate the leg that we lead with. The final movement in the warm up is kettlebell or dumbbell snatches. That's one movement from the floor all the way up overhead. So I'm going to straddle the kettlebell or dumbbell in slow motion. I'm gonna deadlift, shrug, bring my elbow high and dip to receive overhead. I'm finished with that movement once I come to full lockout. On the other side and from another angle from the side, I'm going to deadlift, shrug, bring my elbow high, dip to receive overhead, and then stand. So the last movement in our workout is kettlebell or dumbbell, or in the warm up is our kettlebell and dumbbell snatches. For our strength today, every minute on the minute for 12 minutes, we're gonna do six to eight devil press. If your dumbbells are, or kettlebells are very, very heavy, let's scale it down to six. If it's something that you can fit eight devil press in in a minute, let's fight for those eight. On the next minute, we're gonna do a 30 second hollow rock hold. This is a core movement where I'm going to keep my lower body, my heels, and my upper body, my shoulder blades, off the floor at the same time. So lower body and upper body off the floor at the same time, biceps right by my ears, trying to hold that for 30 seconds. On the last minute, we're going to do push press. Kettlebell or dumbbell, single arm, tiny dip, press tiny dip, press, tiny dip, press. We're gonna do seven on each side. If you have a barbell, we're gonna do seven push press with our barbell at approximately 55% of our one rep max. Tiny dip and press. That is our strength today. You're gonna to go through that four times total. And then again, we go, as I mentioned, race against time for that workout. The first workout is seven minutes long, three rounds. We're gonna start with 30 double unders or 60 singles. Then we're gonna go into our 20 kettlebell or dumbbell swings. And then we're gonna bring that kettlebell or dumbbell in front of us and go into our goblet squats. Your goal is to get through that list three times. The next one is a sequence of 21, 15, nine, seven minutes to get through 21 sit-ups, 21 push-ups, and 21 air squats. We haven't had sit-ups yet today. For those sit-ups, knees pointing towards the ceiling, you have the assistance of your quads, 
Butterfly is a little bit more advanced. For full range of motion, I want my hands to touch the floor behind me and in front of me, ensuring that my shoulder blades touch the floor and my shoulders past my hips at the top of that sit-up. So 21 sit-ups, 21 push-ups, 21 air squats. An air squat is just an easier version of a goblet squat. It's the same thing, except I don't have to hold any weight. After that mini workout, our last one is also a seven minute camp. We're gonna start with 30 box jumps or step ups, whichever it is that you're able to do. Then on the same surface, we're gonna do 30 tricep dips. Legs bent is easier, legs straight is a bit more challenging. I'm gonna dip down and press, dip down and press, dip down and press. For those 30 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches, again, if you have a barbell, feel free to sub in a barbell. If you're on the kettlebell or dumbbell, it's 30 total, 15 on each arm. Therefore, if we're subbing in a barbell, it should be light. For that snatch, feet are narrow, hands are going to be wide. I'm gonna go into a deadlift. Once I hit full hip extension, that same shrug, that same high elbow, and that same dip to receive overhead. From another angle, it's that same deadlift we talked about with the kettlebell or dumbbell, that same shrug, that same high elbow, and dip to receive overhead. What do I mean by a light weight? We're looking at a measly 40 to 45% of our one rep max. This is something you wanna be able to get through quickly considering you only have seven minutes, seven minutes to complete the entire workout. All right, good luck everybody. Contact us if you have any questions and we hope to hear from you soon.